right in Mark Williams' comfort zone. Very, very clever at winning these scrappy frames. Prematurely. Far, oh, you miss. Oh, I miss. We're going to sell it in five. Still do very well. One. To win the frame of his visit. The only red that's potable is the one on the left cushion. They play a cannon on red and blue here. not sure if the pink onto the red is a plant to the left corner. I, f I presume it's not because Ronnie would have to be pretty careful about this shot, not leaving the chance for Mark Williams to play red Ronnie onto Solomon the pink, eight. then to pot the red. He needs to slightly err on the right side of the pink as he looks when potting this red. was mighty close but the finishing position of the Reds could have been a whole lot worse and I said that Mark Williams who normally specialises in this kind of frame but at the moment he's been completely outplayed and he's playing some incredible safety shots Safety success so deep into the match. Both pretty convincing numbers. begins. Yeah, the green was always going to be the problem. Finding a way to open up the three reds. Thanks. Quite a big target though, behind yellow and brown. Chance to play. Good snooker here. Not wrong with me. And suddenly, in the space of a few shots, the table looks a lot more appealing. might have swung the pendulum.
And the fact that Mark's having to really aim down on this is the positional side of the shot. Well, One. I was going to say is very tricky, but he'll be delighted with that. Played that about as well as he could. Mark cannot afford to go three frames behind, you think, at this stage. Eight. Fifteen. Well, Sixteen. Just a little example of Mark's sometimes lax cue ball. He had to be playing the black there. It gives easy position on this last red. Careless shot. And now look, straight in the pink. Can't get close to the last red. This is now very missable. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. But that will have gone in on the tightest table in history. Perfect. Yeah, that was a wonderful shot. Problem now is yellow to green and green to brown. Okay. Probably come down the left side of the table. The cue ball somewhere near that left cushion. Give himself options of right middle, right corner. Even far you. right corner. That was a wonderful shot. That was a wonderful conventional shot. Okay, he's maybe travelled an inch or two too far. Said, scrappy frame is coming on top again. Forty-four, fifty. And Time and again, he does that. that and it's that kind of frame that really appeals to him. And as Stephen said, he has got stickability. Ronnie O'Sullivan, only one in front. Sacrifice that though for where the cue ball ended up. Absolutely plumb on the screen. Trying to bring the black into play. He's done it. Fabulous shot. Hello. to pot that black into the left side of the pocket as he was looking because 18. it was the only way we could get that cannon pot the black thick from our angle the red looks like it sails in but it's a different view the player has but you have the other one and now what a chance as we said he hasn't won two frames in a row all day chance to draw level 26. be looking to get on the red closest to the right corner after this next black 27 if he's dead straight. Yeah, that was well controlled. I'm really impressed with the way Mark Williams has played to date. I think he's been excellent. He's taken some heavy five. scoring from his opponent to keep to keep himself in front. This and the previous frame. Perhaps his best passage of play in the entire contest. 
Fifty one. Well, the frustration was there for all to see there. Just a little cannon has gone wrong. And Ronnie comes oh, well, to the table. 51. Salt in the wounds, Ronnie flukes the red. Uh, Sullivan, what? Fourteen. Oh, I almost fourteen. I'm the fifth. It is seven seven. Could not be tighter. The best of nineteen has been reduced to a best or five. What a peach. Stephen, that was vintage. Mm, big shot coming up. Can he open some reds and retain position? No. Is that cue ball to stop? Mm. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Oh. Oh, Twenty-four. Twenty -four. In matches. Ronnie O'Sullivan. That Six. could not have been hit any better. Absolutely plum. Wow. He's cursed there. <coughs> that could stop him in his tracks. It was awfully cruel. One. Seven. Fourteen. Fifteen. Twenty-two. That was another loose positional effort, and again. Hampered queuing. 23. <laughs> 20. Well, he struck that one beautifully, and he's found a beautiful gap. 
You never want to see a match between 29. two of the greatest players of all time playing somewhere near their best, you have to say. Be won by a bit of bad run of the balls, but these little matches, these things can happen. That pink going in from the split the pack from Mark Wilms could be, well, might be pivotal Up in this match. Up to seven. When he gets in these situations, you just don't expect him to miss. Oh, another wonderful positional shot. That was exactly what Mark was dreading when he seen that pink go in. Fifty. He'd have gone back to his chair thinking, that's 8-7. That's the quality that these two are producing today. The fine margins. 50. 51. A high value colour. We'll put the frame safe. Eight. After this colour, one more red and then it's definitely under lock and key. Yeah, and he's taken these beautifully. He's just lost two frames in a row for the first time in the match. And he presented with a chance at this stage. Five. You've still got to do it, even if the balls are placed nicely. And it's just been inevitable, really, from word go. 73. 73. Chasing his fourth century of the day. By the way, when he made his third, that was his 40th of the season. Yet another 84. Remarkable achievement. 88. 93. 99. That was the good, the bad, and the pretty. Good split, bad luck, pretty clearance. O'Sullivan back in front, stylishly. Yeah, I watched him leave the arena. He was enraged, muttering to himself, most of which is probably unrepeatable. But... When he came back to the arena, it would have it would have gone. Oh, and look at this! When it rains, it pours. a risk it's a tricky little shot easy roll up behind the brown but i just think he's full of confidence very tricky shot though into a blind pocket Twenty-two. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Two more loose reds then, and he's going to have to about going into the main bunch of reds, four. bringing something into the open. It's quite a nice pack to go into from the black. He wants to leave himself level. And deciding to Water. go up for blue. 
and he's just got an angle. But going into the pack from the left-hand side, this is not guaranteed. Can he go direct? He's tried. He had a simple shot to get an angle on the black, I think, there. Whether it be a high That's black five. or a low one. Chose to go up for blue, didn't hit it hard enough, and this frame is still alive. Mark Williams, 45. <laughs> a pretty straight red. Therefore, straight queuing. Needed and delivered. The cue ball has got away from him slightly, but it was a, a good point, nevertheless. Mario Sullivan, one. Nominates uh, or announces a, a touching ball. That makes O'Sullivan's life easier. No. <laughs> I, thought, <laughs> I thought you were passing a bite to me. Oh, and a miss. <laughs> Alright, what are we for? Oh, and a miss. Alright, what are we for? It's been windy in London though today, but we didn't think quite in this way. Oh, and a miss. Oh, and a miss. This time the free ball is left. Previous frame, Mark, you know, the arena, furious, but he's forgotten about it. He's played a wonderful frame, if not one, if not the best, one of the best temperaments the game's ever seen. Against the other two, he's obviously a wonderful snooker player as well, but his temperament is second to none. Forty one. My forty one. Did matter not. Once again, these two giants of the game are inseparable. He'll come up smelling of roses.
Juan. Play with a bit of check side to hold for this red that's below the black. Eight. Nine. Sixteen. Seventeen. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. It's five blacks. I'm not sure whether he'll be playing for the black from this red. 41. As we told you in our quiz question, he's made 15 maximums. So he's been there, done that, worn the waistcoat on multiple occasions. 43. 44. I'll be shocked if he doesn't go into the main bunch here. One loose red is a little bit of insurance. Just got into the cue ball. Too much. Right. Maybe cuts to the left corner. It's a thin one. And the blue is there waiting. Fifty-two. Fifty-seven. Fifty-eight. Standard tonight has been awesome. It really has. Two of the greatest players of all time, even as a feast. Sixty-five. Sixty-six. Seventy-four. And you might be thinking, well, surely no one's never made five centuries in a, a best of 19 and lost. Well, Ronnie has. First round of the World Championship against David Gray all those years ago. Made five 81. turns and lost 10-9. 82. 82. Well, Neil Robertson, who's waiting for the winner of this match, he... Made five centuries yesterday in his win over Mark Allen. It's a nine. Ninety. Ninety five. Look at that. On a five pence piece. Ninety-six. One hundred and one. One hundred and two. One hundred and seven. One hundred and nine. 112 116 121 Half centuries from Ronnie O'Sullivan. But, and it's a big bet, he's not home and dry yet. 9 8.
seven, eight, fifteen. <coughs> The black is liberated. The cue ball in mid-table. Williams, perhaps, just starting to fear the worst. Seventeen. Eighteen. For me, this is his best performance of the season. And that supersedes when he won the World Grand Prix, fighting Neil Robertson in the final. Oh yeah, by a, by a long way. I mean, he had a thing, a, a three or four frame burst in the evening session that won him that title, but all through the week he was far from his best, but today he's looked bang on it from the word go. Every time he gets in, you think the frame's over. Very, very sharp. He played fabulously well to beat Judd Trump in the first round of the, the players, was it? 41. And then the next round, he wasn't anywhere near as good. 42. In such as a recent year's run, he's struggled to put two or three performances like this in a row. Well, oh, he's not going to win the match in one visit. 47. <coughs> which will irritate him a little bit. 47. <laughs> <laughs> Tippy tapping around. Mark Williams will not mind. Ronnie Sullivan's got a 47 nil lead. He'll be the first to send a red up the table. Mark Williams will stay there all night doing this sort of stuff. Well, has Mark left a gap to the red over the yellow pocket? No, couldn't get to it. And the balls are in the open. For a counter attack, for a counter clearance. <laughs> Some of the drum kept it in, it's fantastic. Mark Williams, one. Oh, he's had three chances to pop. Not easy balls. And hasn't really got close to any of them. One. Oh, what a time this would be. Pull out another clearance. He's had a few today. And this is to stay in the tournament. For me, his best ever clearance was to win his third world title at the expense of John Higgins. If he can do it then, he can do it now. It. Oh, he's not in the black. Okay, he's still got the pink to left middle and he can just bring the cue ball off one, two, maybe three cushions for reds at the right hand side of the table. Natural angle, so just concentrate on the pot. He's got cue ball to run. And he's got another good pot here to keep the break going. Okay. Inhibited, crunched up, and natural. Twenty-one. 
20 right, then. Next is bridge hand, that's the the problem in this okay. break, the problem ball. It is on the right side of the table for a left-hander, if you wanted to play for it to this left corner pocket. Off to seven. Just travel a little bit too far again. The adrenaline is kicking in. Okay. The key shot coming up. Is it a natural angle to move the red? It sure is. Oh, just wanted the red. Hang over that left middle pocket. to that try to get in behind the pink decelerated slight, slightly but fortunate he's not left a pot on Kyle oh. it's Ronnie lining up the cross double the right middle that is a kind of a shot to nothing Cue ball. <laughs> Huge area to aim for. A little fortunate, but who could possibly <coughs> begrudge Williams? Beautiful touch. Absolutely beautiful touch. Wilkins, left side push and check side. Could that be the deciding shot in this match? Oh, I miss. Sorry, that's all of them. Six. Three ball. Let's see if we run it back. And Ronnie has stuck the yellow up. Just run. Just never stop running the yellow. It's gettable, but missable. Yeah, but the thing about it is it's so thin that if you miss it, the yellow's staying over the pocket.
I'm running some of them. Really, Mark can't keep escaping from these snookers and not leaving a pot on. Huge element of safety. Ronnie smiles, but knowing Mark and how clever he is, that was played. Taking this on automatically on the brown. What a pop! What a pop! Five adrift. He needs to clear down to the pink. Nine. Wow, what a time to desell like that. Brown barely reached the pocket. It's nervy out there now. Well, wow, it's been incredible. What a match. We are going to the wire. What a cracker. It's 9-9. Nine, nine. Thank you. Top drawer. From start to finish. People always ask, how are the class of 92 still at the top of the game? Well, watch this match back. And you'll see. Highest standard of snooker. All departments. Previous nine matches to go the distance between these two. O'Sullivan has prevailed six times. But the last time Williams beat O'Sullivan anywhere, it was in the quarter-final of the International Championship. That went to a decider. And it was Williams who won 6-5. Well, I'm not sure if you take this red on and stay on the black. To the right corner pocket. It needs to be struck well to get the top spin. Chance, Mark Williams. It. Nine. Six. Seven. Then it's a case of getting a nice angle. Let's see where the cue ball ends up. A little bit short, which means 24. it's just not straightforward to put that cue ball where he wants it to be. 25. And cue ball to pull up. Mm, end of break. Unless he does something extraordinary. Taking the brown on. This is some shot to play. Bolt cushion, left cushion just before the middle pocket, into the bunch. Oh, long way off. But unfortunately, that was Mark, 25. he didn't make contact with a bunch of reds. Half an hour of playing time since O'Sullivan has potted a ball and he was never going to bot one there. Mark having a good long look at this pack. You can see there's a line of four with a red at the end is certainly going towards this left corner pocket. I don't think he's thinking about playing a plant. He's just worried about the safety shot. And that's why he's playing off the cushion. Doesn't want to play off the bunch, but that's got to go. Five, no
if both players carry this form into Sheffield in two or three weeks' time, it certainly be dangerous for the world title. But yeah, I agree with you. In a match like this, you hate to lose it. It's absolutely no consolation being involved in a fantastic match if you don't win it. Well, are you kidding me? He hasn't just dropped that red and dead weight for the black in the deciding frame of a match. Yeah, this is horrible. It's just so easy to flick a bit of left-hand side on here and miss the black thin. It's not generally what happens. Great pop. Great pop. The long red is absolutely wonderful. To play that dead weight in this situation. Thank you. any reds near corner pockets. He's already had one unlucky one tonight. Hit the bunch well. Okay, he's got a pot on. Cue ball under the cushion. 14. Makes it very difficult. Fifteen. available to the left corner. This now is a chance to win this match. And obviously not. 18. Needs that cue ball to run. Just lost it again. I think it's end of break. <coughs> Our room's 18. That's a wonderful <coughs> shot. That's probably the hardest safety shot in snooker. The whole length of the table between two ball and object ball hitting across it. You need the thin contact. Magnificent shot. Oh, surely he's not eyeing this pot up. Neither player shirking at anything. Oh. The hits just keep on coming, Phil. Another, another massive shot. This could cost them the match. He misses his blue. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Got to be careful of that middle pocket by his elbow here. Should be able to widen the angle, yeah. Seven. Very good. Really be tempted with a cannon. No, he's got a choice of a couple of reds. Actually, there may be a red to the right, the pink, available to the left corner as well. So, Seven. decent chance this, at the very least, get right back into this frame. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Again, the cannon is tempting. Well, playing for the red that goes. But he's not got that, so he's going to have to do it off the black. Twenty-nine. Just flick the left-hand side of those two reds away. Leave the other one to the right corner. Too much, he's still got a pot on. Oh, Not the cannon he played. <coughs> oh. 
Right, Sullivan, 56. When cue ball and object ball are close together like that, it can be confusing picking out the potting angle. Yeah, still expected them to get it. Oh, looks like we're going to have a nervy end to this match. Has to take this red on, but again, you miss it. There's every chance the red can stay over the pocket. One. <coughs> oh, Mark put the yellow near the cushion to a bit of insurance when he was 40 odd points in front, but he'll be lifting it off the cushion now, I feel. So clever. No, please don't go in there. You don't want this match won by a fluke. Ronnie wouldn't mind. Stephen, he did not strike that with any authority. You see, he didn't strike it positively. One. <coughs> well, it's not ideal. Five. It's okay. I'd rather cue ball had come away from the cushion a little bit. He just pawed it and stunned down for the green to its own pocket. He'll have to come around the back of the green now, or stun across it. What a relief for O'Sullivan when it disappeared. Fine. Well, all I can say is one incredible match. Well played, both players. Well done, Ronnie O'Sullivan. The long pot he potted and the blue in the deciding frame to keep him in the match were outstanding. 14. This is it. Frame ball. Match ball. Thank you. And it's Williams who's feeling blue. 25. Yeah. The contest of the season so far for me. Quality, drama, class. All of the ingredients you need. Simply terrific. Williams performed superbly, but not quite well enough. It's O'Sullivan who advances. The class of 1992 remain excellent.